Namaste, I am Dr. Sijit Sridhar, Chief Medical Officer at Pragudi Shakti, Clinic of Natural Medicine by CGH Earth. Now, diabetes become a word, a disease, which no one needs an introduction, no one needs a detailing to know what the disease is. It become such a familiar term for us, something we are familiar with like our neighbors or friends, we know what it is exactly it is. What cause diabetes and more, can we do something to prevent us from getting it? Do you have any tool in with us to reverse it? Let us understand about diabetes in more holistic and natural perspective. Diabetes which is a condition as we know there is an increased glucose in the blood and in general diabetes are two types type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is otherwise known as juvenile diabetes and type 2 is adult onset diabetes. The type 1 diabetes which is generally because of lack of insulin production in the body due to some conditions which affect your pancreas which produce the insulin. And type 2 diabetes is a, is a condition because of insulin resistance which forms most than 80 percentage of the diabetes population. So, now when we talk about diabetes, we will be focusing on type 2 diabetes, which I said earlier is a condition because of insulin resistance. If you are looking for managing, controlling, reversing and preventing type 2 diabetes, it is very important to understand what is this insulin resistance and what causes it. As the term clearly denotes, Insulin resistance means the condition where body produces the insulin, where the pancreas can produce insulin, but your cells cannot use it. And how it leads to diabetes? Let us understand. So, glucose which is the fuel for the energy production of uh, each and every tiny cells in your body needs insulin to gain permission to enter your cells. When you eat a food, a carbohydrate which finally metabolizes into tiny pieces of glucose will be taken by the blood and reaches each and every cell in your body. And when it reaches the cell, the doors of your cell need to be opened which gain access for the glucose to enter the cell. And this door are opened by the key which is insulin. So, insulin acts as a key to open the door and this key insulin has to fit into a lock known as insulin receptors on the cell on the surface of the cell. So, this key has to perfectly fit into the surface insulin receptors so the door can open and glucose can gain access for the further metabolism. And if this cell cannot access the glucose that means if the door cannot be opened with the insulin, the glucose will remain in the blood which will lead to the condition of diabetes. So, what prevents, what causes to this insulin resistance? This insulin resistance happens when the lock is damaged. When the lock is damaged, the key cannot fit, door cannot be opened and insulin cannot get into the cell. So, the culprit here is not the glucose, not the insulin but damaging of the insulin receptors on the surface of your cell. So, when this insulin receptors got damaged, you we develop a condition known as insulin resistance. So, what damages insulin receptors and that one of the most important factor which leads to damage of ins insulin receptors are inflammation, chronic low grade inflammation in the body. What is inflammation? The word as you understand infla is like fire, a fire inside you, a fire which is useful for you when it is in control, but it burns you in and out when it goes out of the control. Same way acute inflammation is a, is a, is a method in your body to control some sort of infection which help you to fight against immunity, but if it is chronic low grade it damages your cell then it helps you it damages 
the insulin receptors. So, when these insulin receptors are damaged by the inflammatory agents, the insulin cannot fit that leads to the insulin resistance. Now, what happens with your body? Body assess this condition that cells are not getting enough resources for production of energy. So, what happens? You feel tired because cell cannot produce energy and body assess that condition that you are not having enough food. So, it increases your appetite. The glucose remains in the cell which increases your thirst. In glucose remains in your blood which increase your thirst and would you try to eliminate the excess glucose in the blood through urination leads to increased urination which is considered as the most common symptoms of diabetes. So, now you understand what causes the diabetes, how it happens and what how it manifests. So, where we can interfere? So, before you get into the state of diabetes, there is a state known as pre-diabetic where you have a hyperinsulinemia because when body cannot open the doors of the cells and glucose get in, body get a feedback that cells are not getting enough glucose. So, what body will do? Your body will ask pancreas to produce more insulin to overcome that situation. So, you reach in a hyperinsulinemia. In, in long term, the cells of because of the overwork, the overload of the work, the pancreatic cell will damage and the insulin production also reduces, you reach in a stage where you have to take insulin from outside. Yes, we can make a change. How? By controlling, reversing, modifying the conditions which leads to this inflammation. What contribute to it? So, what we usually do is taking a medicine. A medicine which helps to reduce the glucose in the blood. But the basic reason for this, your lifestyle remains there unattended, unchanged. So, even the medicines may be helping you to keep going as the contributive factors are remain attended, the root cause of the disease is not managed and, ma and modified, you reach a stage where the medicines do not work and then what we do? We blame the medicine, we blame the doctor, we blame the hospital and we change. No, we do not change, we change the medicine. No, that is not a responsible behavior, it is the change should happen from within. You should take responsibility of health and make changes in the contributive factors which leads to diabetes. What are those? Very simple and basic and every one of us know this. One of the basic factor is as all of us know is your diet. Diet helps in, in managing the diabetes or the diet helps in making you diabetes. So, you have a choice. The diet which you eat will make it either you healthy or diseased. It is your choice to decide what you have. If you have a diet which is high amount of refined glucose, less in fiber, which is high acidic in nature, which provides a factors which leads to diabetes, insulin resistance and inflammation. But if you have a diet which is fresh, which have life in it, which is complete and wholesome, which is with our natural colors which is called rainbow diet, which is with low glycemic load high in fiber and alkaline in nature helps to prevent your diabetes, reverse your diabetes, control your diabetes. What are those which all this which I said which is alkaline, which is natural, which is fresh? Let us make it very simple, the vegetables. The, if you have a having a diet predominant with vegetables within both cooked, raw, steamed as you wish helps to take care of most of the need of the nutrition of the body which act as the one of the miracle way to control the diabetes or prevent the diabetes if a chance of getting it. Then comes the importance of sleep. The possibility or probability of getting diabetes increases around 30 to 33 percentage if you sleep less than 7 hours daily. You can never ever dream of controlling or preventing diabetes if you do not sleep enough. Sleep is the best medicine. So, make sure that you sleep to 7 to 8 hours at night and you can take a nap to 30 minutes to 40 minutes a day. One of the most effective way to prevent not only diabetes, but most of the so called disease like diabetes or lifestyle disorders or which is called as metabolic disorders. Then comes the importance of activity. 
be active activity in form of exercises activity as part of your life as part of your job everything is important and activity is not only that you go for a gym for a uh, few minutes or few hours in the day and being stable and stationary and not moving for next 18 to 10 hours of 15 hours don't help you should do some exercise which take care of all the basic needs of the body like sitting standing walking jumping climbing swimming but not only that make sure that you move in every one hour of two hour and one of the most important muscle which helps you in glucose metabolism reducing the glucose level in the body is your calf muscle the soleus muscle you can do something like a soleus push up something a which a movement which mimic walking which mimic stepping make sure that you do that 20 to 30 hours 30, 20 to 30 minutes in a day which help you to enhance the glucose metabolism act as a medicine to prevent or reverse diabetes then your gut bacteria make sure that you have a healthy gut you take care of the good friends inside you again by eating a lot of fiber and managing the stress yes stress plays an important role there all the vital organs which connected with the diabetes as well as the metabolic disorders can function optimally only when if you did a stress free life the nervous system which makes your internal organs your liver pancreas kidney your intestine can work only when you are relaxed so make sure that you are relaxed enough there are a lot of ways to manage that having a good sleep engaging in hobbies which you like having an attitude with your life which help you to have a stress free life and controlling and reversing the factors which leads to stress there are many methods or take a professional help which if you need some help to reverse your uh, to manage your stress so controlling all these factors along with living in an environment which is friendly for your body and mind is also important a good air taking good enough water and exposing you to sun and having having enough contact with the mother earth everything matters let's understand there is no shortcuts there is no shortcut to prevent or reverse diabetes but there are many effective methods diabetes is such a easy condition that can be managed and reversed if we put a effort but such a nasty condition if you don't try to manage it so take responsibility of health do the things which are supposed to do from your side which is very natural which can help you to prevent and reverse diabetes and if you need some guidance if you need some professional help in this doing this you can always take help of a yoga naturopathy doctor a qualified doctor which can help you to have a designed sustainable personalized care and a plan which can help to prevent and reverse diabetes see diabetes is not a condition which has to live with that forever if you take the responsibility if you put a effort you can always change it and prevent it thank you